Just saying, life is short. Got to work on your relationships. If you're in a bad relationship right now, you can end that motherfucker tonight. End it tonight. Life is too short for you to be in a fucked up relationship. Just tonight, when the show is over, just walk right past your vehicle and keep on going. Just, no, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. Go right on down fifth. Because life is too short. Women, I know, I know y'all been talking about niggas ain't shit. I know you've been saying that I've been hearing you. That's not the case. On behalf of all niggas here this evening, I want you to know it's just been a misunderstanding. <laughs> y'all just don't understand us. We are simple. Women, y'all think too much. Put too much pressure on yourself. Pay attention to too many magazines. Niggas don't give a shit about most of that stuff y'all be worried about. But ooh, I think I'm gaining some weight and I got to get every, every magazine a woman reads say, bitch, you ain't shit. Just everyone, you still wearing them shoes? Bitch, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. Is that the makeup you still wearing? Bitch, you ain't shit. I think I can speak for all niggas when I say we don't give a fuck about most of that shit. It ain't a nigga in here that ever been ready to fuck a woman and then change his mind because she had on the wrong toenail polish. It has never happened in the history of mankind. Oh, hell no. Is that plum? No, that's plum, bitch. No. Not plum and red. I can't do that. I can't. Women, you just gotta remember, men are simple. We are simple. We just wanna work and fuck and eat. And not necessarily in that order. Cause if a nigga can fuck, we ain't even hungry. I'm okay, I'm okay. I ate yesterday, it was okay. You got a Tic Tac or something. A Tic Tac would be nice. We just tired of women confusing us. Women, stop confusing us, we are simple. We are tired of being at the club. You got a woman dancing all on you, just... <laughs> done danced the crease out of niggas' pants. <laughs> now, after the club, we excited in a motherfucker. We on the car like this. <laughs> <laughs> so what's cracking? And y'all turn into a different motherfucker. Y'all just... <gasps> What kind of girl did you think I was? I thought you were a whore. You were a whore over there. I assumed you'd be a whore over here. Did we cross the no whore line? What the fuck happened? Did you... I know women be bothered by simple shit. Women don't like it when a man buy them a drink and then follow them all over the club all night. <laughs> Clap if you hate that, women. Do you hate that? Yes. See, once again, this is just a simple misunderstanding. I am not following you, bitch. I am following my $7 investment <laughs> in our relationship. Now, if you don't want to drink, then just say no thank you. But don't take my investment and run off with it. You done hopped in the car with another nigga. Now I'm in the parking lot just... Uh, yeah, could I holler at you, player? Uh, either you or her owe me 350. That's all I'm saying. I, it could be you, it could be her. It could be her, it could be you. That... Before I get out of here, I, I got to say something that's gonna be a bit controversial, but I've been thinking about it and it really needs to be said. Hold on one second. Thank you ever so much. I, I heard a, a voice with some bass in it. I just want to acknowledge that. What'd you say, sir? Yes, pimp in distress. 1032. I know my hairdresser is quite frustrated. I done sweat it out every goddamn curl that bitch put in, just 38 seconds. <laughs> Hairdressers be throwing out gang signs in Cincinnati, yeah? What y'all got, like a hundred hair salons? What's the name of the best one? 
No, that's just where you go. That's just where you go. <laughs> All right, I gotta say this. I want you to know before I say this that a third of the niggas in here are not gonna be happy about what the fuck I'm getting ready to say, but I want you to know that I have been this size all of my life, which means I'm not scared of shit, nigga. I've been unconscious before and it wasn't that bad. I woke up in the club, nigga, I was well rested and everything. I just start talking shit. Well, where's the nigga now? Nigga can't get a power nap in this bitch. <laughs> and remember that this is just my opinion. As far as I'm concerned, there are only two type of niggas. Real niggas and bitch niggas. Yeah. Now, now if you're not sure where you fit in, chances are you's a bitch nigga, you really are. If you look around, there's people looking at you right now. Talking about, what is that bitch nigga smiling about? <laughs> but as real niggas, we have always known that there were bitch niggas. We see them in the mall all the time. They be waving, and you be like, what is this bitch nigga waving at? <laughs> but now, bitch niggas are becoming a problem for real niggas. Bitch niggas are now starting to cost real niggas money. You see, there are more lesbians now than there have ever been. And most of that is the fault of bitch niggas. You can't blame her. She been with bitch nigga after bitch nigga after bitch nigga after bitch nigga. And finally she like, why don't I just be with a bitch nigga? And you can't blame her. You can't blame her. But bitch niggas don't respect women at all. They don't understand, this is not 1996. I'm gonna get mine, I hope you get yours. A woman should be so kind as to offer you some pussy. It is your obligation to fuck the shit out of her at every opportunity that you get. Uh... When, when, when it comes to kindness to a woman, it depends on how the man was raised, right? it depends on how the guy was raised. There are some guys that were raised in homes where yeah, they saw their parents putting their hands on their moms. So that they're putting their hands on their moms. So they feel or thought or think that is how it should go. So as they grow up, they find themselves doing those kind of things to their wives and their girlfriends, you know, not knowing that um, it is something wrong because it is what they saw, it is what they see, it is what they experience and they feel it is right to do that so they grow up finding themselves doing those kind of things and some don't some grow up not even knowing that it is wrong you know until somebody like come in and show them or tell them that hey man this thing you're doing like that it is wrong you shouldn't treat a woman that way you know the person will be like hey but i saw my parents doing that i saw my dad my mom doing that well, they're like, yeah, you saw them doing that, but it doesn't mean that it is right. You know, it doesn't mean that it is right. So I think before people should, before people should go into relationships, they should first understand people, like understand how each gender works. And it would really help, especially when it comes to relationships on how to treat people. They should really do that first, understand how each gender works. It will greatly um, help so much because people treat people sometimes not even knowing that they're not supposed to treat them that way, right? And it just depends on how people, how they grow up. If you're a lady, you want to go, go in your, into a relationship with a guy, always ask the guy, like, how did your, how did your dad treat your mom? You know, did it beat her? Did it? raise his voice against her because if he did, uh, did, did those things there is a high probability or high chances that he might uh she might try that with you and you know because that is what he, what he grew up seeing his parents doing but the bitch nigga don't get it and the bitch nigga starting to cost real niggas money now because now you done went over her house and fucked it up and now before you can get in your car she is already on the phone with a real nigga now this nigga got to get up out his bed go all the way across cincinnati to fix some shit you didn't have no business fucking with with your bitch ass in the first place and gas prices are too high for that type of shit
Now, now I know that there are some real niggas in the audience right now who are mad at me right now because they don't understand why I'm wasting my time and my breath talking to bitch niggas. But what you don't understand is you don't have to be a bitch nigga all your life. After the show, you can get with one of these real niggas in the audience and let him tutor you on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays till you get some of that bitch out your uterus. Now listen to me carefully, if you would, bitch niggas. The first thing you need to understand, bitch nigga. <laughs> See the bitch niggas paying attention? <laughs> the first thing you need to understand, bitch niggas, is the first nut is slippery. It's not just you. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes the first nut just has a mind of its own. You can have the best intentions in the world, just I'm gonna fuck the shit out of, oh hell no, I don't believe this shit. Now, if you're a real nigga, you never even let her know what just happened. You just, you are not ready yet. You are not ready yet. I'm going to eat your pussy again. I'm going to eat your pussy again. You are not ready for this. There's some women in here mad right now. Is that what he was doing? Yes, you are fucking with a real nigga. Now, since you know that the first nut is slippery, It is your obligation to get that motherfucker out the way before you get to her house. You need to be on the highway working that motherfucker out. That way, by the time you get to her house, you are already on nut number two. And I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there's nothing more powerful than arriving at her house already on nut number two. You don't be bullshit. You just go on and lay down. Go on and lay down. You might want to wrap your hair up this evening. You might want to wrap your hair up. Now listen to me carefully, if you would, bitch niggas. Now... Once you have put on your condom and you are safely inside. <laughs> the only word that should be in your head is concentration. You don't have time to be looking in her eyes and <laughs> caressing her softly and smelling that raspberry shit she got from Bed Bath & Beyond. You need to be looking at everything in her house but her. Just keep your focus. Just... <laughs> Sing little songs to yourself off key to keep your focus. Just A, B, C, D, E, G. Now listen carefully, bitch nigga. If you feel it starting to slip away, remember that this is a one-man sport. You make all the rules. Do not be ashamed to get out the pussy and get yourself together if you feel it's starting to slip away. Just A, B, C, D. <laughs> e, F, G, H, <laughs> Pay attention to me, if you would, bitch nigga. Now, I know, I know because I'm moving so quickly, I haven't had time to talk about eating the pussy, and I know that that makes the bitch nigga think that maybe you don't have to do it. But, see, it's that type of thinking right there that qualifies you to be a bitch nigga in the first place. Yeah, see, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... See, real niggas know something that bitch niggas have never, ever found out. Oh, it's so quiet right now, you can hear a bitch nigga drop, ain't it? That's... <laughs> See, real niggas know I'm not eating the pussy for you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. A shaman and I are some of the shaman are going and holler it out then, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not eating the pussy for you. I'm eating the pussy for me. See, I didn't eat the pussy. I know for a fact you already came twice. I felt you when you clenched up on the motherfucker and damn near suffocated me. <laughs> now I have the rare opportunity of surprising you with the dick. You forgot all about 
brought the dick. You just... You brought dick too? Oh my God, girl, this nigga brought dick too. Pay attention to me. If you would, bitch nigga. Now, once you've been doing it correctly for about 27 and three quarter minutes, you are gonna start to feel a pain in your side like you've been exercising. Now, I know that this is ordinarily where the bitch nigga just go on and call it a day. But if you can manage to fuck through the pain. <laughs> See, she don't know you in pain. She think you a genius and are hitting it from the side. So continue to hit. <laughs> through the pain, because 14 minutes after that, your body is going to go into autopilot. And I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there is nothing more wonderful than feeling your body go into autopilot. Because now you got time to have fun with her. You got time to enjoy yourself. You got time to do stupid shit like look at your own dick. Now look around at the confused look on the bitch nigga's face right now. I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there's nothing more wonderful than looking at your own dick. You just in that motherfucker just... Some of you niggas can't do it no way because you got to be so close on the pussy. You just... Y'all been all that. I'm Cat. Thanks for the time. I will say... At the end of the day, treat your partner very well. You know, that is what matters at the end of the day. Irrespective of any issues or challenges that you guys have or might have, just treat your partner well. At the end of the day, things can always be worked out. Things can always be fixed. Things can always be resolved. But treat your partner well at the end of the day.